What's going down, T subs and T squad? Um, happy Thursday to everybody. Shout out to all of you guys. Y'all make sure to follow the social medias that you guys see before you guys. I am very, 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 very close to my goal on X. Okay, very close. Like I'm in single digits. So again, anybody that has a Twitter and or X and you want to follow along and be in the know of any and everything I have coming up on the channel, definitely make sure to follow the channel Instagram as well as the Twitter and or X. All right. Man. Well, what happened, child? That's all I want to know. What happened? Okay. What happened? All right, because my whole issue with Baldine is you came out, your bald headed ASS came out here, stirred up all this mass hysteria, had all of these hoes in my comments trying to call me a hater, trying to call me a this and trying to call me a that. And I'm a male chauvinist pig and all of the rest of this foolishness for your damn memoir to fly. You have all these hoes in my comments hotline about they finna spend their damn rent money on y'all book. Well, I guess the rent. <laughs> well, I guess y'all landlord said, girl, do it. You gonna know something because to let the people tell it, Baldine, your book ain't selling. And I don't feel no ways tired about it, nor do I feel bad for your ass. Because like I say, you came out here, you caused all these women to get into hysterics. And they ain't even bought the damn book. You keep bringing up Tupac. And they ain't even buy the damn book. You're going on internet talking about how Tupac was your one and only. And Tupac was this and Tupac was that. And you felt some way about the way Suge Knight bought, bought, bought a piece of his ashes to you and all the rest of this shit. For the book to be a damn fly. And not sell. You got all these people all up on 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 in Miss Walisha ear, talking about all this and all that for the bitch to not to, uh, to not sell. Like I, but of course when I said it, I was wrong and I was this and I was that. I already knew all of y'all would go out damn bad that woman damn book. Y'all women do what y'all always do. Y'all jump on the bandwagon when it's concerning a woman. But y'all don't ever want to follow through when it's time to follow through. I expected Baldine book to but to, to 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 be the the number one best selling from day one to now. I was ex I, I'm telling y'all, I expected her thing to pull the sheep out of the goddamn thing on um, the day that her book came out and that so many people wanted it and it was in such and high demand that it broke man in it. That's what I was expecting. Anyway, so this situation comes from uh, Daily Mail, and this said, shout out to the DailyMail.com, and this says it's Jada Pinkett Smith sets a uh, shock and tell all memoir a flat book revealing seven year separation from Will Smith fails to crack top ten on bestseller charts. But I thought all of y'all was going out damn bad because all of y'all came into my comments with that foolishness. All of y'all gonna go around damn bad. Y'all gonna do this. Y'all gonna do that. I ain't nothing but a hater. All I do is hate on women that's doing this and doing that and so on and so forth. But yet, the bitch ain't selling. She left her fans and critics with their draws on the floor <laughs> when she revealed that she and her husband, Will Smith, have been separated and living apart for seven years, despite um, uh, despite presenting the image of a happily married couple. So y'all are already deceiving the damn folks, but this is supposed to be a memoir. Moving on. But now Jada Pika Smith new memoir worthy in which she shared the status of her marriage and numerous other revelations appears to be performing poorly on some major book bestsellers list. The 52 year old actress released the book October 17th and it managed to nab the number three spot on Amazon's charts of the week um, of October 22nd, which lists the top 20 most sold and most read books of this week. Uh, for Amazon, I assume. Um, okay, are you gonna let me continue reading it? Are you still okay? 
She finished just behind Britney Spears, even even Buzzer, Buzzer Memoir, The Woman in Me, and David uh, Grant's Killers of the Flower Moon, which returned to the top of the charts thanks to the interest in Martin uh, Scorsese's Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro starring film of the same name. But on Amazon's main bestsellers list, Worthy had plummeted to just number 81 as of Tuesday, according to Newsweek. Um, hold on, I'm seeing if I can find more about this. Uh, Jada Pinkett speaking about this and blah, 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 blah. Okay, here we go. By Wednesday evening, it had dropped three more spots to number 84. Notably, the main bestsellers chart only tracked sales, whereas Jada's book placed in the top three on the online retailers charts that tracked both sales and the number of Kindle readers and audible listeners working through the book, suggesting that more people were interested in her memoir than were willing to shell out for a copy they could own. The Matrix Star book also struggled to get readers to leave a review on Amazon. The stories listing show the ah, the stores the, blah, blah, blah. the stores listing shows as of Wednesday that only 148 people have left a rating on her book, compared to the 1,043 people who rated Britney Britney Spears memoir, which was only released on Tuesday. Worthy is completely missing from Amazon's list of 100 top selling Kindle books. However, it did top um, specialty list of women's biographies. Hold on. Uh, were the okay, I read that. However, it did drop okay, I read that. It was also absent from Publishers Weekly's top 25 overall bestsellers and didn't make the top 10 on its notification bestsellers list either. Barnes and Nobles bestseller list was sim uh, uh, similarly similarly missing an entry for Worthy in its top 100, but John Stamos, whose book was released after Jada's, scored a spot in the 30s with his memoir. However, another celebrity memoir, Britney's, graced the number one spot, while Killers of the Flower Moon, which is six years old, also nabbed the spot in top 10. Um, hold on, let me go down some more. Let me see if they got something else. Uh, it's just pictures of Will and Jada in the cheering. Uh, more pictures of Will and Jada in the cheering. More pictures of Will and Jada in the cheering. More pictures of Will and Jada in the cheering. Okay, I think I got it all. Yeah, I got it all, child. So that's that's that on that on it. Um, shout out to the Daily Mail for the read. Totally appreciate y'all for that. Well, like I said, child, I don't feel no way tired. I'm never going out there buying her damn book. I didn't even buy Will Smith book. So what made y'all think I was finna cut my ass out there and spend my coin on Amazon or, or anywhere else for that matter? To buy her tired ass memoir, to talk about her tired ass life, to talk about her tired ass marriage that she didn't want. All right. We all know that she settled for Willisha and all of the rest of that stuff. So, girl, continue to settle, child. We don't want you. Tupac don't want you. His family don't want you. Nobody wants you. The book. None of that, girl. Keep all that foolishness to yourself next time, Jada Waiter, because nobody asked you for it. We could kill ass. Like, y'all was really getting on my nerves with that because y'all was getting mad at people for saying we didn't care. But we didn't care. Like a lot of y'all came under my comments. It was like, well, why do y'all feel a way that she want to write a book? And da, 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 da. Why do y'all feel a way about us saying, girl, me no care, bitch. We don't care. We don't care. And we ain't got to care, Jada. We don't want to know about your life like that, sir. Anybody asked you for it. Keep it. Whatever you and Will got going on is what you and Will got going on. We don't have to be in the text thread, love. Y'all always had a weirdo ass relationship, a weirdo ass marriage and a weirdo ass family. Let's just call a thing a thing here. And sometimes the best course of action to do is to keep family business with family business. We don't need to know all of the ins and outs all the time. You got these this woman children coming out here, Tom, and, and sick of it. 
They sick of it. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Let your family rest. Let Tupac rest. And Jada, come on out the closet, girl. Because at this point, I'm sick. Of, like, the more and more I see Jada, she is turning into a stub and before our very eyes. And don't nobody want to say nothing about it. Nobody want to say nothing about it. Every time I see Jada, she I, I swear to God, she, she finna change her name to James by next year. <laughs> she, finna, she finna tie them damn titties down and so on and so forth, girl. Y'all better get into y'all better get into J, uh, James Smith, honey. All right. Her and Will might work then because then she could just strap up on Will and then Will could live his best damn life like he was doing with Dwayne Martin, honey. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Yes, I'm gagging Jada. I'm gagging the hell out of Jada and all y'all hoes that came under my comments trying to give me grief about my damn opinion. Where the book at? All y'all that came under my comments, bitch, where the book? Where the book? If you ain't bought the book, do not come under my comments trying to give me hell this time, girl, unless you got a receipt of the damn book. Show it to me, girl. I want to see it. Where the book? Matter of fact, I need all of y'all to give me a book report. I do. I need all of y'all women that came under my comments calling y'all self trying to get me together. I need all you hoes to go on ahead and make sure that y'all have my, my, my damn essay, my book report. Yeah, I need it on my desk by Saturday night. I do. I need it by Saturday night because this is Thursday and my next live is going to be the, uh, th uh, Saturday for Love and Marriage Huntsville. I want to see the book report. All y'all better have book book reports typed up in in, 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 in in the correct format, the correct lettering, all that. And I want it to be presentable. All right. If you decide to handwrite it, that's fine. But it better be in cursive and I better be able to read it because if not, I'm deducting points. Anyway, y'all jump down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation, and I'm gone. Bye.